Welcome everyone to another episode of Unscripted Coding. Today we are continuing a project we were looking at before. Um, last time, last week, we were trying to check if it was feasible to use AI to summarize manga. Now this is an interesting area because at this point we all know that you can use AI to summarize reports, books, emails, things that are very text heavy. But what we weren't sure about was whether we could use AI models like GPT, like Claude, like Gemini, um, to look at images like this one and figure out uh, what the story is. And so manga, as you may know, um, are, are these comic books essentially. Uh, and you know, text is all over the place. It's not a single, you know, it's not easy for computers to read. And sometimes you need to be uh, quite wary of text in random places. So for example, we threw a curveball right off the bat for the feasibility test because the book starts with one scene and immediately flashes back here, going back in time, showing, you know, a, a break in the narration. So. AI needs to be smart enough to recognize these are different images, text is all over the place, um, and, and some of these texts have an important, um, important narrative purposes. So whether it's uh, sound effects, whether it's just a note about time, uh, it needs to parse through that to understand the story. Now what we found was that it was indeed very possible at this point. Um, GPT didn't do great, Claude 3.5 Sonnet did uh, fine, and we were looking at Gemini 1.5 Pro because it has the capabilities to, of processing many, many more images at once. Uh, while Claude 3.5 Sonnet looked really good, um, it could only take 20 images at a time. That's not even enough for many chapters in a manga volume. Um, so today I am going to use Claude to try and build out an interface here. Um, I already started this off by asking it to build a single page web app, but instead I'm going to say, uh, I want you to create the uh, app to connect to Google Gemini API using REST so that we can include a prompt and images and fetch the response. Please also leave a field so that I can enter an API key in from the user. Uh, for access. Okay, so what I've asked is a simple single page uh, web app. And what that means is that everything is in one HTML file. You're not going to get you know half a dozen JavaScript files, images, whatever. Um, everything's run here. And the reason I'm doing this is because um, that way I can just run it on the side and iterate through with Claude instead of programming it myself. And so um, let me just grab my API key on the side here. Um, hello world. And see if we get a response. Now not surprisingly we get the error failed to fetch. And I suspect there might be something going on here, chorus policy. Okay, so this isn't going to work great. I think we're going to need to download it each time and run it here. Hello world, 404. Um, next thing I know I'm supposed to do is that uh, they, Claude doesn't have access to the internet the way ChatGPT does. And so I had this page pulled up already. 
let me just pull it out here. Uh, this is the documentation for Gemini, and I copy, I want to copy a lot of this ready to use. Please use this as a reference because your code isn't working properly. And this will give it the most up-to-date way of connecting to Gemini. And hopefully it's able to fix what it needs to, to, to make it work properly. Now, be it, uh, I think Google has created, has used Gemini 1.5 Flash instead of Pro, but, oh, that's not what we need. Where, oh, where is my API key? Okay, so next one, and I suspect this will still not work because um, Google would not like you to be able to embed within another page. So we're just gonna keep opening this up. Perfect, so now we're getting a response. Next, great. Now, can you allow me to just drag and drop images instead of choosing files. And as a placeholder, please uh, enter a default prompt that says, so now I want to be able to just drag and drop images instead of uploading it. And I also want to, um, I also want to have like a default prompt that's the same most of the time. Uh, I've uploaded images from a manga series. All sequential pages. Can you summarize what happened in these panels in a few sentences as a single narrative? Okay, so I've asked it to put in a default prompt here, um, basically saying, please summarize the manga for me. I want it in a narrative form. Basically, I want to read it as a story rather than, you know, some fancy report that we saw the last time um, we were using Claude. Okay, so this time around, it's a little bit longer and we can drag and drop files. Um, I am going to download again. We're gonna have a lot of versions here. Oh, apologies, I have to pause for a second here. Okay, we're back. Um, so I'm gonna paste my Gemini key here, uh, unseen to you. And I am going to, again, use uh, the first five panels of the first chapter of Demon Slayer. And pretty cool that we can see the images here. We're going to send the request and see whether we get a coherent response here. Uh, yes, we have a coherent response. Um, just from the prompt, there's no way that the AI could figure out what manga it is. It's completely um, it's completely uh, boilerplate. So it is recognizing the image uh, images. Now, what's important here is that we were using Gemini 1.5 Flash, which is a far inferior, I wouldn't say far inferior, but an inferior model to Gemini 1.5 Pro. So uh, it doesn't surprise me that this response is not accurate, it's not wholly made up, but uh, it, it's not piecing together the story properly. Um, next thing I wanna do is be able to rearrange here um, because, let me just see if I select different pieces, whether it changes, yeah. Um, 
So the next piece I wanted to do is make sure it shows up in order. And so this time around, it it's still not in order. One, two, three, four, five. And so I want to see if Claude can fix that. When I drag and drop from Windows, the order of the images is scrambled. How can we fix that? order of the images is very important. So step one, we're going to be able to rearrange the image. Step two, I want to make sure that we're using 1.5 Pro instead of Flash. I think that's just changing the endpoint uh, with our web app. And once again, I. I think we're basically almost done. Claude has made this normally pretty time consuming task uh, into something that is just so much easier to work with now. And just going to move it here, open, and, and, Come back here. What am I doing here? <sighs> okay. Okay, so um, if we look at the code here, uh, I think all I have to do is change from Flash to Pro to make it work out right, and I should zoom in. Um, there's only one place that specifies a, a model, and that is at the very bottom. This is where we send the content to, and if we do Gemini 1.5 Pro, um, we're going to be able to use the better model. Next, I wanted to see the response here. Um, the order of the images is crucial, so they'll use a file system API instead. Handle drop. Um, I suspect what happened and, and what was happening is that every time we dropped, it uh, had to change it into base64 to upload onto a site. Um, the result is that all of these run in parallel and it just uploaded whichever showed up fastest. Uh, in this case, that's not ideal, but in other cases, it makes absolute sense. Um, ah, we can see one, two, three, four, and five right here. Uh, and those are the correct order. So uh, we are going to send the request, but again, I need the API key. And we'll see Gemini Pro works and whether it makes a better story. So Tanjiro is injured and carrying her, uh, his sister who is covered in blood um, and then flashing back to a time when they were both healthy. So yes, it had that time jump just fine. He remembers their simple life selling charcoal and how they wanted to join, uh, Nezuko wanted to join him in the village. Um, the mother, the siblings, all of that. Um, all of this makes much more sense. So uh, it looks like we're going to be able to work with this pretty well. So one last test, uh, as you know, Claude had a limit of five images. Uh, this limit is not going to exist if, um, if we do it this way. And so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just putting a few more images here. And if we send the request, we'll see if it generates a slightly longer it does generate a slightly longer story. Uh, talks less about how she's covered in blood, but probably because it's uh, a shorter part of a longer narrative now. And we could probably run it again and see a different response. Um, injured sister, yeah. Now I realize I'm gonna keep 
making incremental changes. That's what makes this uh, pretty fun. Um, if I go back here and say, can you change the fetch address to so that it uses Gemini 1.5 Pro instead of Flash? Also, is there a way for us to pre-process the images so that neither neither the width nor height exceeds 720 pixels? Well, downscale if it does. Okay, so first of all, let's make everything work properly by putting. Um, by, by uh, switching to Pro and keeping it all in the cloud chat. But the other thing is I wanted to downscale the images because uh, in theory, if I do another manga, uh, I might have some very high res scans and that all costs extra money, which is not true actually. Gemini charges per photo because they downscale themselves. But if we were to use uh, something else like Claude 3.5, um, that might be something we should do. Uh, so I'll do it on my end to downscale, but the next step, and we're not gonna go through because I think this is a long enough video, but the next step might be to put in a toggle up here so that I can use Gemini on one side and maybe Claude 3.5 uh, for another. So if I find a chapter that's only you know 15 pages long, I might wanna opt for uh, Claude 3.5 instead, or if I find that some images or some stories handle better with Claude 3.5, um, that maybe I could toggle. And that's just asking Claude the same questions and doing similar kind of work of copying and pasting the latest version of their documentation. Anyways, this is, um, this is it, I think we have something pretty functional now. We have a site where we could put in uh, the chapters and we could fetch um, a, a simple summary. Uh, of course, over time, we may want to change and adapt the prompt. Um, we could continue building this out so that it looks nicer, so that the interface is better. Uh, personally, because I'm using this not as a front-facing, um, not as a you know a publicly available website but something as an internal tool i might want to bake the api key inside um this is not the best way to to build this out but it it seems to work fine and it does our assigned task fairly easily okay um I think I'm going to call it quits here and we're going to download this latest version afterwards and start generating some summaries so I don't have to spend, you know, weeks and months to catch up on a series. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and following our project. Uh, stay tuned next week when we try to build something else. Thanks for watching. Bye.